Tournament Poker Players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Cardhouse Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event, the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty, and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome again here to Texas Card House Saturday night for our final table Saturday tournament. Uh, we got some uh, regulars here at the ta final table. I'm looking forward to it. Got Mitch Lloyd here in the booth, and uh, if you're interested in that little clip we had about the Poker Atlas tour, don't worry, we're going to cover it a little bit more later on. Uh, but here we are getting to the final, uh, the first hand here at the final table. We have, we'll get to the payouts here at the end. We have it all in already. Wow. Just turn it on and he's all in already. Michael all in with the ace jack against Alexander. Alexander's tournament life on the line here. King with two diamonds, no help. He's looking for a seven. Uh, seven uh, uh, clubs now. Two of hearts. No good. Wow. And just like that in the first hand. Wow. First hand. Oh, tough break there uh, for Alexander. You get a chance to show his stuff. Let's see what we can be taking home, though. But guys, there you see we had 158 entries today. $400 buy-in. Alexander there is going to take home $1,440 for ninth place. Congratulations. Wow, first hand. Play all day to get to the final table. Tough break. Anyway, uh, now, now down to eight here. We have a couple of regular regulars here. We have uh, Lynn was the chip leader before that first hand. I don't know now. Daryl making a call here with a couple of deuces. Williams got all their ideas. All in with the ace 10. Pete's out of the way with his fives. Paul. C2 here, 1.1 million behind, wants to count. Williams all in for 370,000. Paul still has to worry about players behind him here. And on top of that, Daryl Daryl called, so he's got more than just the button and the blinds. And Paul's going to make the call with his nines. Michael will get out of the way as will Lynn. Daryl wants to play, but the twos just aren't good enough with an all-in and a call. So here it is. William at risk here. Two hands, two people, possibly two people gone. We, that can't happen, can it? Paul with the nines, ace, ten. Queen high. Looking for an ace or a ten on the river. And the, the, the ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds will take it down. Look at that. An ace, a ten, or a diamond. And there it is. A diamond on the river. And William will double up through Paul. Wow. He was looking for an ace or ten. Backdoored right into the diamonds there. Yeah, guys, looking at the chat there. Bobby, Matthew, I see Poker Monkey as usual. Yeah, there's Daryl in seat seven. We got Dina. Dina in the box for the first time. Talked to her a little bit before we started. She's very excited. Dina uh, 
I, I got here a little earlier myself and uh, played a little cash. Dina dealt to me earlier, and uh, she did well. She did really well for me. And of course, I took care of her, too. You know that. Pete here in the one seat, going to look down at ace eight. And he doesn't want to mix it up right yet. He'll throw it away. Paul sporting that Aria hat there in seat two. Walter, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, Matthew looks like a good lineup. Here's Daryl going all in with two red nines. Putting the pressure on Paul and his Aria hat. Got the young Johnny Chan look over there with the glasses and everything. He wanted to call, he wanted to count. If he makes the call, it'll pretty much cripple him in chips, and Daryl will take it down. Uh, Daryl, in case you guys uh, don't play here at TCH, anybody who plays here at TCH, and you play tournaments, you know Daryl. Daryl plays, uh, he's here every day, he plays tournaments. I think I've seen him at the cash table maybe three or four times. Uh, but uh, he is, without a doubt, the top tur uh, tournament player here at TCH. Oh, really? And uh, it took him a while to finally break the final table, but he's, uh, once he got a taste of it, he's been here several times, and it's always good to see him here. And there's Lynn, no stranger to the final table in uh, seat five. Came into the final table, uh, the tip leader. DFS, what's happening? How you doing? Good to see you guys in the chat. Folds around to Daryl in a small blind. He'll make the call. Heads up action to the flop. King high. Daryl's going to flop a gut shot. He still has the best hand. William wants no, he wants no part of that. And that's another pot, uh, two in a row there for Daryl. Guys, here's the payouts. We looked at them briefly here. Uh, again, we have 158 entries today. Uh, prize pool of 52,000. Top prize is going to be 14,400. And we are down to eight players now. Again, we got Dean in the box, one of my favorite dealers. You can find her at either location. She does go back and forth to either location. Some dealers deal solely here at the, in Dallas. Some, like myself, deal solely at Las Cleanest. Yeah, Lynn's made some final tables, no doubt. I know she made the, uh, she won not too long ago. Oh, uh, here she is, all in. All in with the ace eight, 810,000. Take it down, pushing people around with those 800,000 chips. Yeah, Lynn, uh, she, during the tournament event, she made a, a final table. And I think she took it down. And, uh, yeah, she's no stranger. She, she's made an appearance or two here on a Saturday final table stream. Uh, definitely, definitely a solid player. Get a text message here. Who's texting me? All right. Going 
Oh, somebody text me here. All right, Edwin wants to know who's the favorite. <coughs> Dean, showing a little love for uh, for Daryl there. You gotta love that. Guys, I am flying solo tonight. Uh, Brittany's off uh, hanging out with the ladies. Had a little ladies' night tonight. I did ask Daryl to join me tonight in the booth, and uh, he was all ready to, ready to go. He said, you know, I'm, I want to play it, so if I don't make the final table. So there he is, now I'm solo, because Daryl made the final table. Six of diamonds on the river. No help to either player. Pete's deuce is good. But can he find a call here? I mean, uh, I don't see him making the call. But I could be wrong. He is reaching for chips. Frogzilla. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Does uh, C2 not look like a, a young Johnny Chan? All right, Ed Edward's uh, pulling for Michael here. Getting some more love for Daryl. Saturday night here in Dallas, Texas, guys. 176 of you watching. Do appreciate it. Guys, if you like the way uh, Dina, her first time here, she's dealing the cards tonight, go ahead and hit that like button. That'd be cool. I'm sure she'd like it. If you like seeing Daryl and Lynn at the final table here, regulars, go ahead and hit that like button. They'd appreciate it. Well, I, uh, DFS, uh, I had two people lined up. I even called Mitchell. Uh, he's out with, uh, I was in a hand when I called him, and it turned out to be a good hand, by the way, Mitchell, if you're listening. Uh, he's out with family, I think is what he said. Uh, anyway, Michael here has got ace-queen. Under the gun, let's see how he wants to play it here. He's gonna raise up to 95,000. Lynn will throw away the ace-10. She liked it, but not in that position, not with a raise coming from under the gun. Smart move there to get, the, get away from that one. Sinaloa here with a suited king. PB Weez, is that that? PB Weez, okay. <laughs> is it okay? Is it okay to have an over 50 table? I don't 
think uh, we, we've already established the seat two is a young looking Johnny Chan. So I don't think he's over 50. <laughs> PB is going to check. Michael's going to take advantage of it and uh, lead out with 140,000. And he'll take it down with the bigger uh, ace there. Well, there you go, Rebecca. I appreciate it. Watching live from Cleveland. We appreciate it here in Dallas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not much of, uh, of an art guy, Lou. Uh, I've been in the Philadelphia Art Museum twice. Once was to see Live 8, and the other one was just to go see the Rocky statue. <laughs> but I guess maybe Picasso. I don't know. Moving on, here's Daryl going to look down at 10-5, the hand I hate the most. And he'll throw it away, as he should. Hello with there. Uh oh, Pete got a nice hand here. And he's not going to mess around. He's going to try and take down these blinds and maybe even hope for a call here with the ace king. <laughs> and uh, he won't see any action. He'll take down the blinds, which is always a good thing when you make the final table. That's uh, 100,000 in chips right there. And he'll definitely take uh, be happy about it. All right. Daryl going to look down at King Queen. He is under the gun. Let's see how he wants to play this. And he's going to raise it up to 95. Fold and fold around to P with the ace deuce. He's going to fold. Paul not going to be happy with the jack five there. PB going to make the call here with a suited jack queen. And looks like we will go to the flop here. Heads up. Daryl and PB. Each with a queen. Nine high with two diamonds. PB does have two diamonds. Check. Daryl's going to check PB. Oh. All in with the diamond draw. And there it is. Guys, if you uh, weren't watching or <laughs> were watching and wanted to see it again, here it is, guys. The Poker Atlas, Poker Atlas, like I said, they're at it again here down in Houston this time, April 10th through the 22nd. Over a million dollars in guarantees, guys, 16 events. So, uh, you know, if you're down that way or if you want to play, you know, make res, you know what to do. You know what to do. Back to the action here. Sure, you could go on... Uh, TCH Houston website and get a list of all the uh, tournament events. They got they have 16 events going on. See which one you might want to play. You know, they might have a ladies event. I didn't look at the uh, the lineup. I'm sure they have a seniors event. You know. PB is going to raise it up here with Ace Nine. Daryl. Now he's got the hand that PB just had against against him. He thought about it. And Daryl's gonna lay it down. Mm -hmm. 
see uh, some chat here. Bummer. Let's see what we have here. M MD twenty twenty versus Boone's Farm. There you go. Looks like uh, Edwin might be looking for a little carpool action. See if anybody's interested in driving down to Houston there if he's in the Dallas area. Paul here going to look down with Ace Queen. Going to raise it up to 125000 Around the lane on the button. Daryl with a couple of picture cards here. King Jack. And we'll throw it away. There you go. I tell you, I, I remember when I first got here, Daryl, I met Daryl, and he was coming in, playing tournaments, and uh, to, to watch his game get so much better, you know, I, I could see early on the frustration when he would play, but, uh, you know, uh, I watched him, and he became a better player uh, day after day after day, and, uh, and old Daryl would not have folded King Jack right there. So uh, it's very cool to see him at the final table. He's a good friend, definitely a good guy. Kiwi, how you doing? Good to see you. Looks like uh, we're going to have a walk here, and there it is. All right. <laughs> see Lego there. Looks like Lego's a little upset there. Pete going to look down here at Queen Jack and make the call. PB is going to fold here. Paul and Lynn will get out of the way around to Michael, Lynn, Daryl. All right, and there it is. Looks like it might be. Lower there is going to make the call. Uh oh, Pete going all in. But Pete, no stranger to the final table himself. Uh, I see Pete, uh, out of everybody here at the final table, I see Pete a lot. He plays a lot of the tournaments, uh, daily tournaments over at Las Colinas. Uh, I see Daryl over there once in a while. I did deal to Lynn. <laughs> she did play the ladies' event in our last big tournament event, the uh, Leap in the Spring uh, tournament we just recently had here at both Dallas locations. Matthew going to pull, looks like he's going to pull for Lynn here. PB is not going to be happy with 10-6. Well, if you don't get 10-6 off suit, it's good to get it under the gun. That way it's easy to just throw it away and Watch the action. Spectate here. Nice. Lynn's going to raise it up here with the ace nine offsuit. Daryl. Oh. Oh. It's lower here. Oh. Pete with a suited oh. ace says no. Uh oh, Paul. You're killing me, Lego. <laughs> so Paul's going to raise it up here with Ace-10. Raising it to 250000 Action is on Lynn. She 
gave us some thought, but uh, I guess she figured she missed the uh, the flop. Eh. Well, there you go, Alan T. Showing Dina some love. Deservingly slow. Dina dealing the final table is long overdue, I think. I know she tells me she occasionally tunes in to see who's made the final table and, and watch a little bit. Len going to look down at 10 9 here and give it back to Dina. They're all not happy. Uh oh. Uh oh. William here with a queen 10 suited. Spades. He wants to raise to 90,000. Fifty thousand more uh, for PB to call. He does have a million in chips. Seven six. I mean, he could make the call here just to see a flop. There's nobody else. It'd be, it would be a heads up action to the flop. Yeah. And he thinks better of it. He decides just to go. It's still early yet. It's still early yet. So every stack now is going to have six ten big blinds. I'm up. What do you go, Lego? I'm good to see you guys have somewhat, maybe still you know, to salvage a friendship, you know. Tomorrow's another day, Lego. Tomorrow's another day. Matthew, I appreciate it. Back over to William, another suited spades, ace eight this time. Again, he's going to raise it up. We can tighten it up. We can like tighten it up. What do you mean? Like Raising to 85, Pete bigger. gonna look down at 10-9. Right now, right now, right now, he's looking anxious. He wants to get involved here. He's gonna check out the situation on the board, the blinds, how much time, and pay, whatever that payouts, whatever he's looking at, and, you know, all the information he needs. Paul not gonna be happy with this King-5. Most likely will give it back to Dina. And does. PB is not happy with the Queen Six. And there it is. He will take it down, guys. Well, I got a second here. I want to send out a little love to my my friends and family, as you some of you may know. I came here a few years ago uh, from the Baltimore area, and uh, I'm sure you guys have seen in the news. Uh, so uh, I want to send a little love back home, friends and family in Baltimore, uh, the Key Bridge. Guys, I lived about uh, 500 yards for about four years. I lived about 500 yards from the, the Key Bridge, right there on the ca on the canal where the river and the canal meet. Uh, you look to the right, there's the canal. I mean, the, the, the bay, Chesapeake Bay. You look to the left, and there was the Key Bridge. So. Uh, all my best uh, going back to Baltimore, guys. Got a rough uh, head, rough road ahead, but I'm sure they'll bounce back. All my best to them. Looks like uh, we're having somewhat of a discussion here about a chop, an eight-way chop. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that here. It's still running. The clock's still running. So, so they want to stop the clock, Don. Uh, reminds them that, uh, no, we, we, we don't stop the clock. You guys want to talk? That's that's fine, but the clock will continue to run. We can still tell you the three minutes. Yeah, if you have to, I've got it right here. 
I see a couple of games going on there in the background. Most of, the, most of the action going on, uh, you really can't see, is to the left of the screen. Yeah, Edward, uh, Edward uh, I, I got calls at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning the night it happened. I didn't know what the heck was going on. And, uh, to the chip. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny when I would get up, I'd walk out on the, on the deck and I'd look to the right as far as I was concerned. Uh, the beautiful yeah. view was the Chesapeake Bay. I looked to the right, there was the bridge and the uh, port of Baltimore, which was, you know, kind of cool. But yeah, uh, Tejas, uh, talking about a chop eight ways. Uh, I mean, you know. It's up to them, you know, I mean, so but, uh, 1.12 gets 6,145, the 880 gets 5,389, 460 gets 3,800, 25, uh, 1,5,000, I mean, there's no, I mean, uh, Daryl is the short stack right now uh, at 460,000. William, I mean, it, it, nobody's crushing. You got uh, three players in the million. Uh, 445 is 3760. And, uh, Jose, you're I mean, one double up, and, uh, you know, Daryl is in uh, fourth place. I'll take it. I'm good with that. Okay. How much is it? How much is it? So, is there people? Thank you. Yeah, anyone that's. Wow, a, a, a chop eight ways. I don't know. But I'm chip leader, so if you guys are going to tell me. I mean, I've never seen it here in Dallas. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Okay, looks like uh, looks like they can't come up with an agreement. So uh, after a brief eight way chop conversation, looks like we are back at it. Clock did continue to tick. No, I'm saying we are in hand, hand number 18. Talk about an eight way chop. Wow. The fact that they even talked about it is kind of, kind of crazy. But uh, we're moving on. We're playing. We're moving on. That's not a legal raise. Okay. In one second. The blinds are 60,000. Oh, okay. So 120? Yes. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. What did he make? He didn't double the fifty percent. Yeah, DFS. I mean, uh, as as a raise. I don't care. Eighty-five would be. Okay, so that, so. We're not chopping. Looks like we're saying no. We're moving on. Looks like uh, William here. Jeez, all this chop talking. Open up this document. It's more than half of the bet. It's a, it's they put 85. So it's just a call. Okay. So after some discussion there, we're going to come, come to the conclusion that it was just a call for William. Got off cheap. Got a discount. See what I mean? You got to talk about chopping. I'm hitting everything. William got a flop. A flush. That's 5370. I believe the person who said no, who killed the eight way cop conversation, I believe was Michael in seat four. Looks like uh, Pete, you guys are giving Pete and Seed One some credit. I'm not sure if I heard him say no, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw Michael in Seed Four say no. Anyway, Paul here in Seat Two. 
Uh, we're going to raise up to 175 with ace four of clubs. Around to Michael, who's the button, got an ace of his own, but it will throw it away. Lynn getting out of the way with queen 10. Johnny Chan taking it down with that Aurea hat. You got to love it. <laughs> And we're getting some confirmation here. I can't go backwards. You guys can go backwards and look and see. But I think it was pretty sure it was seat four, Michael in seat four, who said no. Guys, hand number 20 here. Lines are up 30, 60, and 60. We, uh, we're at eight players here at the final table. We did start with nine, but uh, I believe seat seven, six, Andrew. I think it was. Uh, unfortunately, busted out the very first hand. And you got to feel for the guy. Man. Make it all day long to try to get to the final table and first hand. It's going to be frustrating. And we would take it down, get the walk there, look like. All right, guys, we got 279 of you watching. If you appreciate the fact that seat four, Michael there in seat four, decided to say no to the chop there, the eight way chop, go ahead and hit that like button for Michael. PP going to look down at 10 7 offsuit. Uh oh, he got bad intentions here. Got one million in chips. Well, he was messing with his chips, decided, nah, I better not. All in. All in. Lynn, going all in with the pocket fours here. And Loa there with a the king queen. Wondering whether or not Lynn went all in with an ace there. He would have made the call quicker, I think, if he saw she had the fours there. So uh, a king or a queen. He needs a king or queen, or Lynn will double up. <laughs> Five, five, nine, two spades. And there it is, a king on the turn and an eight. And that's going to leave Lynn with 275,000, looks like. <laughs> Michael keeping us streaming. I'll do the ICM. I like it all in. I like. I, I like that. I like that. I might have to use that. She's all in. Yeah, Bobby. I. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, we're we're moving on. We're we're moving on. Uh, only fair way to do a job. Anything else? Okay. All right, Pete. Action's not on Pete here. Action's on. Action around the PB. I don't see him making a call here. <laughs> oh. Michael going to love this king-queen suited. 
Uh, I think he's thinking about maybe just calling here and seeing if uh, he can get Lynn to go all in. Uh, he may think she might go all in, so. Oh, he's going to throw it away. Lynn does go all in. All in. Lynn all in with the queen six of hearts. Paul wants to count. He will make the call with the Jack Nine offsuit. <laughs> Lynn is a slight favorite here with the queen, with the suited queen. But Paul does have two live cards. And now they flopped an open ended straight draw here. And now he hits the nine. And an ace on the river. Paul will take it down. Hitting the nine on the turn. And that will be it. Lynn. Going out at number eight. And she will be taking home $1,630. Congratulations to Lynn. Always a pleasure to have at the table. Always a pleasure. Congratulations. And now we're down to seven. PB. Going to look down at the pocket threes here. And he will throw them away. Action around to Daryl. Not happy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Williams got a couple of aces. He's going to raise it up to 130,000. Pete. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pete going all in with his eight. Paul, he's going to like the Queen 10, but I'm sure he's going to throw it away. Get out of the way. You said call. You said call. You said call. And he's call. He's a on with. Oh, what happened? Paul's being held to the call. What happened? Oh, sorry. So Pete went all in for 370,000. Paul. Paul's going to make the call. And now William. All in for 1.195 million. Pressure on Paul here. If he doesn't make the call, looks like he will be at risk. And he's going to throw it away. Pete going to show his eights. William showing his aces. Pete's tournament life on the line. He's looking for an eight. Flop coming jack high. Pete's still looking for an ace. I'm sorry, an eight. And... And not just the one out or eight of hearts won't be any good. And there it is. Harvey taking it. I mean, William taking it down with the pocket aces. And Pete is gone. In seventh place, he's going to take home $1,825 for seventh place. Congratulations, Pete. Well, I'll see you over at Lost Cleanest without a doubt. And we are back to the action here. How much was his original 
Okay, so let's see, because I wasn't really sure how all that happened. There's a good pickup. I guess, uh, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Legos. You buy where you can. Let's see. Yeah, Bobby, I don't know what happened there. If, so, it looked like Paul made the call, and then William jammed all in, so... Uh, All right, Frogzilla says uh, Paul made the call and William Snap re raised. And there it is, Sanella. We'll take it down. Just like that, uh, we are now down to six. Action will start with Daryl. William uh, with ace eight there. Sanola suited jack five, but not interested in playing. Here we have Paul. King Queen. Gonna raise it up. Two hundred and twenty-five thousand. PB will eventually give Dina back the cards. There it is. <laughs> Michael. Let's see what he has here. <laughs> Michael does have a nace. <laughs> well, here we have a situation. Michael's asking Paul. Looks like for an exact count of what he has. Now, for those of you who aren't quite sure of the rule there, Michael can ask all day long, but Paul is not obligated to give him an exact amount. He just can't hide his chips with his hands. He just lifts his chips up and, and shows him. He doesn't have to count, but Paul is gracious enough to count them down for him. We have a raise, a shove, and a call here. I'm hoping you don't have an ace. So Michael's... Ace is slightly ahead here. Paul's looking for a picture card of some kind. And the clubs are no good. The flop comes all clubs. Paul's got the king of clubs, but Mike's got the ace of clubs. So now he doesn't want to see a club. King or queen. And it's a jack. Michael's ace is good. And he will double up. Yeah, definitely a wild hand here. Yeah, Kiwi, it's uh, usually we have a lot of guys feeling each other out, but. A lot of these guys coming out swinging today. So Paul with the double up there. I'm sorry, Michael with the double up there through Paul. I apologize. I'm, not, I'm telling you, if I was at the table, I'm just interested to keep my head down. These guys are swinging. 
Appreciate it there. Appreciate the like. These guys are entertaining us today. I got nothing to say to the I mean, uh, you know. Is that a, an all in there? Uh, no, PPS, he's got chips behind. Best car in the deck. <laughs> Well, here is the chip stack. <laughs> William, after taking, after doubling up through Paul there. Wait, that's not right. Michael doubled up through Paul. William, after doubling up and eliminating Pete, is in first place. Michael, after doubling up through Paul, is now in second place. Jedi, where you been? I miss you. It's like three weeks I haven't seen you. PP with a suited ace here of hearts. It's not going to throw this away. Second best card in the day. Paul going all in here with the ace nine. PB wishes he had something better than nine seven offsuit. He's going to give it back to Dana. He's been kind of card dead. He's, he's made the most of what he's had so far tonight. He's been very patient. He's kind of overlooked, though, the way these guys have been swinging. William's going to make the call with nine ten offsuit. I can't argue that 9-10 uh, was a, a big hand for me today in the cash game. So I'm liking 9-10 today. Tomorrow will be a little different, but I love a 9-10 today. Guy had pocket aces. He, made, he raised pre-flop. Not too much. Okay. Enough to make me to call. Flop came 9-10. Nice. Five on the river. <laughs> Yet uh, DFS, uh, he's been kind of quiet there, uh, watching everybody swinging and missing here. He's laddered up. He's kind of been card dead. But uh, he's just watching everybody else. So there it is. Paul's been eliminated. That's another ladder up there for Daryl. And PBS has been showing a lot of patience tonight. And that's going to be, let's see, sixth place, $2,090 for Paul. The young Johnny Chan lookalike with his, I love the Aria hat. That's my favorite place to play in Vegas. I think we could talk about Vegas places to play. I don't know. Anyway, for those who care. I, I, if, you, if I'm in Vegas, you can find me at Aria. Maybe win sometimes. And now we are down to five. So who are you guys pulling for? You got uh, PB. Darren Seat, is that two or three? How are you up with that? Talking about the money. It's not good for TV. 
I guess that's C3. P, B, and C3, you have Michael in C4. Daryl there, TCH favorite there in C7. William in C8. And Sinoa in C9. Who you guys pulling for tonight out of the six remaining guys? All right, we have uh, hand number 30 here. Blinds are 30, 60, and 60. Guys, have got 339 of you. Appreciate you watching. Daryl with the queen three. You can see the frustration. He wants something to work with. He wants to get in the mix here. And PBS in the same boat. Daryl PBS in the same boat. Really haven't had much to work with. PBS's patience are running thin. He wants to do something. You can see it. Daryl running on fumes. I know what you meant. The King Five, if it was suited, it'd be a shove for, for you, DFS. Yes, going to the flop here, Jack High. Checking a check, we'll see a deuce on the turn here. PBS gonna lead out and take it down. And there it is. All right. Let's see what we have here. 4080. Down to the final five, guys. So Daryl's all in here for the King Seven of Hearts. Michael with a mystery hand is going to make the call. He's got nine ten of hearts. Hearts all the way around here. Michael's nine is good. Daryl's going to need. Do we see a flop? Don't put me hard. Don't give me a flop. Okay. So nine. Nine ten of hearts versus Dale's King Seven. King, King Seven ahead a little bit here. Two hearts on the flop. They're all looking good. A queen. That gives Michael an, an open. Oh wow! Runner, runner straight. Runner, runner straight for Michael, and a uh, wow. And just like that, just like that, we're down to four. So there it is, Daryl taking that home, the fifth place, taking home 2,530. And guys, well, Daryl, welcome to the booth, brother. <laughs> How you doing, Mitch? It's that, a pleasure to be here. Unfortunately, I, I, I would okay. rather still be on the table. Be a little, little closer, I don't care. Yeah, I would rather still be on the table, but 
Yeah, that was brutal to watch, unfortunately. Yeah, I do. completely card dead, but, you know, that's punk. You know? it but it's a pleasure to be in here with you. Uh, we've done it before, and it's yeah. always a pleasure. Yeah, I was, I, was telling them, I, I was telling them when we first started here that I asked you to, uh, to join me today, and you had planned on it that, you know, it's like every time I ask you to come in, you make the final table, so I should probably ask you every week, huh? Yeah, you should. I, I'll be looking forward to that uh, maybe next week if you ask me before we start. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going <laughs> to. But, you know, anyway, Michael's got ace jack here and the butt. Uh, congratulations for the fifth place well, thank uh, you. finish. I you know. appreciate that. Uh, yeah, thanks for the shout out. And, uh, uh, it's always good to, to see at the final table. But, you know. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's a tough game. There's a lot of good players here at TCH. It's hard to make final table, without a doubt. Yeah, and the, and, and things can change so quick. Uh, Lynch who showed up to the table. The chip leader, a, a slight a lead in chips, a slight edge, and you know, it's, yeah, yeah. you know. All it takes is one hand and it can change your stack dramatically. Um, but, you know, there's been some people who have chipped up really well, like the gentleman in seat eight. Um, what's his name? Looks like, looks like they might be talking about, uh, might be talking about Chop. Guys, here he is. He made his way to the booth, uh, seat number seven. Daryl Sample, good to have you here in, in the booth. Pleasure to be in here uh, with you. It was really tough to sit in here watch you, you know, <laughs> card that. Um, it was, it was. It was a but it's always, yeah, it's always great to see you at the final table. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so it uh, looks like, you know, it might be, your your time here might be short. It looks like the, <laughs> oh, they're talking, chop well, they're the talking about chop. The blind levels are so high right now that, you know, nobody probably has more than seven or eight big blinds or whatever. But it's, so it's probably indicative that they'll probably do a chop here. But uh, it was it was fun today playing because I was low for a very long time and managed to survive and make it to final table. So I'm happy about. I'm happy that you asked me to, to that, be in the booth. That, yeah, because that, that you know <laughs> got you fifth place. It did. It I did. did I, I did okay out on the cash game. There's yeah. Dina. She did real well for me. Uh, but yeah, it looks like uh, we are getting word here. We are getting word that they are going to do a chop. Uh, looks like uh, Mike uh, is going to finish first at 9,085. William's going to finish second with 8,220. Uh, PB, PB is going to finish third with looks like 7,430. And Sanola is going to finish in fourth place. He's going to take home just ten dollars less, 7,420. So. Congratulations to them, Daryl. Congratulations to you. Uh, we're going to do this again. This is not long enough. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Congratulations to the guys. Uh, one more, one more thing. One more thing. I, I guys, I'm going to go to the felt. It's going to be deal. I can't seem to make the final table like you guys. So, uh, it, was it uh, April 9th? April 9th. This puts a Tuesday or 7th, whichever it is. Guys, tune on to the live stream, the cash game. We're going to be dealing. Oh, I'm going to go to the felt. I'm going to be dealing. So, nice. but anyway, nice. congratulations to everybody. Uh, congratulations to you guys. Don't forget next week we'll be back in. Don't forget Tuesday night, guys. I just want to give a quick go shout ahead, out yeah, go to uh, Mitch here. Uh, I've been playing here at TCH for a while, and you've done a fantastic job commentating the, the live stream. And well, thank you. It's always a pleasure to watch or even hear if I'm not I always listen or watch it. But well, I appreciate it. You do a fantastic it. job. Well, I'm thank just, you. I thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love having my daughter in here. She does yeah. a great job, too. Hopefully but anyway. Do, do well together. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. We're going to have Daryl back again. Not hitting it here long enough, but guys, appreciate you coming out. Guys, good luck. Thanks a lot.